じゃあ、えっと、お時間になりましたので、始めたいと思います。今日は皆さんお忙しい中来ていただいてありがとうございます。えっと、今日は、えっと、なぜ、あの、自転車が、えー、CEO とか創業者をリーダーに、良いリーダーにするのかっていうイベントを行います。で、えっと、ちょっと簡単に日本語で、ちょっと、たくさん彼らは話したいことがあるので、ちょっと簡単にごあの紹介させていただきます。まず真ん中に座っているのが、ディアナ・ラムさんです。えっと、台湾のウーディーサ・ウードゥーサイクルズの,あの CEO でいらっしゃいます。で、えっと、奥に座っているのが、パブロさんです、はい。よろしくお願いします。はいパブロさんはここで働いてて、つながるエルティックの、えー、代表でいらっしゃいます。で、えっ、ー、と、まあ、なんで、あの、福岡なのかっていうことなんですけど、この後、彼女とパブロがなんで福岡を選んだのか、ESG の観点からも、えー、お話しします。で、あの、数ヶ月、本当にこのイベントのために準備してきて、まあ、ビジネスとか ESG とかに対する情熱をできるだけ伝えていきたいと思いますので、よろしくお願いします。Next page. で今日はですね、席にあの福袋が用意されてあると思うんですけども、えこの中に、えーとまあ、あのラテンバーのサル,、えー、サルサさんというところと、ライフホテルさんというところとあの、ビーガンフードでアンデスさんというところとですね、あと、マナブさんと、ブードゥーサイクルさんのお土産があの皆さん分ありますので、ぜひ楽しんでいってください。次のページいいですかえ。ちょっとさっきも話しましたけど、Today's Topic is ということで、今日のテーマは、なぜ自転車が CEO をより優れたリーダーにするのかというところです。でなぜあの彼らが ESG を推進して、えっ、ー、と、バイクもぜひぜひあの使ってくださいということで言ってますので、なぜそう、福岡に来て、まあ、そのように言っているのかっていうのをちょっと説明させていただきたいと思います。で、ESG だけじゃなくて、あの、健康にも優しい、あの、環境にも優しいということも、まず、あの、ディアナさんから先にお話しさせていただきたいと思います。こんにちは。Hello, everyone. Thank you all for coming. And I'm so happy. This is my second day in Fukuoka, my second time in Japan. So,、uh, first of all,、uh, I will speak a little bit about my brand, Voodoo Cycles. Like you can see over there, it is a bicycle brand. And、uh, we specialize in all sorts of bikes. And I'll tell you all about it, a bit about the history first and the brand、uh, heritage. 今日は皆さん来ていただいてありがとうございます。えっと、えー、日本に来るのは2回目で、福岡では2日目でございます。で、ブーズサイクルズっていうのはバイクのブランドでございます。で、あの、まあ、これから、えー、詳細を説明していきます。So,、uh, my name is Diana. I'm, I was actually born in Melbourne, Australia. I currently live in Taipei, Taiwan. And actually, before I was in the bicycle industry, I was doing pharmacy and commerce. So I had a banking and finance background. So I was working in the bank before I started to do voodoo.、Yeah. えっと、ディアナさんはメルボルン生まれでございまして、えっと、台湾に今いらっしゃいます。で、えっと、自転車を始める前は、約、えー、まあ銀行とか金融とか、ファーマシーということで、薬学を勉強されていました。So, how did I start doing bicycles? So, one day I was、uh, in the bank, I was doing investments, I was looking at numbers, and then suddenly a meteor hit my head. I was like, boom! And ah, I want to go to Taiwan and do bicycles. So, it was just overnight I woke up and I saw a lot of potential in this voodoo brand. The vo So, the Voodoo brand actually started in 1994, had a lot of heritage, and I wanted to rebrand and remarket this brand all over the world. So, it just happened overnight, basically. えっと、えっと、彼女がですね、このビジネスを思いついたのは、銀行で、あの、本当に数字をたくさん見て、あの投資とかもやって、そんなハードな時代に思いついて、もうバーンって感じで思いついた、バイクブランドを思いついたということで、本当、一日にしてあの出来上がったということで、であの1994年にブランド自体は始まったんですけども、えっとまあ、リ,リブランドというブランディングを重ねて、で今に至っております。
Yes, so I packed my bags and left Australia and went to Taiwan to start my team, went to Germany, all around the world to set up distribution centers. And besides uh, besides bicycles, I also love nature. So I have a huge connection with Mother Earth, with art, and also I'm very into outer space astrology and meditation, so health and wellness and how it all connects together in our world. えっと、最初にですね、あの、ドイツの方でチームを作りました。で、それから販売所をですね、いくつか作ったんですけども、あの、バイクだけじゃなくて、彼女は自然が大好きですし、母なる大地をとっても敬愛してますし、また、えっ、ー、と、アートとか宇宙のことが大好きで、すべての彼女の、あの、愛するセンスがバイクに積み込まれています。So, voodoo bikes. So, what is so special and different about these bikes than what you see outside? So, you can see on our totem poles on the bikes, there's so much art and design. Ancient voodoo culture actually originated thousands of years ago from Haiti and West Africa. And it has a huge connection with our ancestors. So, like Japan, we have a huge,、uh, you know, culture and art、uh, carried down for traditions and generations. So, voodoo has that type of energy and essence, where you have to connect the energy of what you're writing with your ancestors and Mother Earth and nature. Eto. このブードゥーサイクルが他の企業と何が違うのかっていうことなんですけど、あの、写真でも見ていただく通り、ポールに絵が描かれています。で、文化とかアートとか、そういったもの、まあ、エッセンスとか、そういったセンスを、えっ、ー、と、つないでバイクにつぎ込んでいるっていうことで、あの、まあ、先祖とのつながりとかも、あの、重視してまして、えっ、ー、と、深く、まあ、起源とするところはハイチとか、あの、西アフリカ。ですね。で、あの、そういったつながりを多く持って生まれた自転車です。Yes, so first,、uh, the first voodoo culture was created to help the people, the indigenous people back then, to heal themselves and to give them courage and positive energy when they're facing anything from outside or even diseases and illnesses. So we put that energy on our bicycles. When you go ride the bicycle, you're actually healing yourself inside out, exercise and within, and it gives you. Different types of energy according to the bike that you're riding. So we merge this essence together with the heritage and the value of our bike. そう、えっと、まあ、自転車っていうのはですね、ただ乗るだけじゃなくて、あの、最初は、こう、ヒール、あの、癒すためですね、あの、病を治すために、あの、乗るということで、まあ、乗ったらポジティブなフィーリングが生まれて、で、それを、まあ、違う形で、まあ、エナジーを本当にバイクにつぎ込んで、で、あの、違うタイプの、まあ、エネルギーを取り入れたり、あの、アウトしたり、まあ、吐き出したりということをしています。So, this is an example of some of our bikes. Apart from the ones you see over there, we have road bikes, mountain bikes, hybrid, electric, kids' bike, BMX, gravel. We also have different materials. So, a lot of people are familiar with maybe aluminum bikes, carbon bikes. We also have steel, titanium. And we have different sizes for any roads and any ages. スクリーンにもありますけど、そちらにも今日展示しております。で、えっと、本当に違うマテリアルいっぱいあって、ロードバイクとかマウンテンバイクとか、ハイブリッド自転車、電動アシスト自転車、子供用の自転車、で、BMX とおっしゃってましたけど、レース用の自転車とか、砂利道用のあの、グラベルバイクですとか、あの、いろんなカーボンバイクがあったり、チタンバイクがあったり、あの、いろんな年代の、いろんな用途で、あの、使っていただけるバイクです。So, if everyone opens their goodie bag, there is a photo book inside, and inside there's a whole range of bicycles in there. You can flip through while you listen to the presentation. Okay, so we made that book、uh, for the Japan event, so we can take a look in your spare time. はい。えっと、福袋の中に写真集が入っています。で、それで、あの、本当は私たちのバイク、いろんなバイクの、あの、いろんな種類のバイクが載ってるので、ぜひ見ていただいてください。で、今回のイベントのためだけにこの写真集を作りました。なので、ぜひ見てください。
So we have a huge connection because you can, uh, as you can see from the roots of voodoo culture, a voodoo brand, we connect a lot with our community and other communities. So in around the world, there is Pride Month, right? There is a Pride Month. And in Taiwan, there is a Pride Month ride. So people actually ride during uh, their bicycle during Pride Month. And what we did to engage and help these communities is that we made a limited edition jersey, which is hung over there, that one there. And we uh, assisted and fundraised money for this uh, nonprofit community uh, to support this minority group in Taiwan. And we were on the news and uh, it, uh, it was very, it ended very well. And they're repeating this event for the third year now. So we believe in the support of equality of life. えっと、えっと、このバイク、いろんなつながりが実はあって、コミュニティからまたコミュニティと広がっていってます。で、今、あの、写真でも見ているように、えっと、プライドマンスっていうのに参加しました。で、えっと、プライドマンスライドっていうのもやってて、あの、限定のプライド。あの、レインボージャージとかを作ってみたりとか、あマイノリティの人たちのために資金を集めたりとか、そういった活動も行っています。So not only the minority people or people from any of the communities we connect with, we want to help the earth that we're on, so nature and how to sustain our land and our planet. So what we did is we have, in, in Taiwan, we have something called dig days because there's not enough trails in certain Asian countries compared to Western countries. So there we, uh, we got a... Well, uh, we got a group of volunteers where people got their family, their friends, and they dug trails、um, in the forest so that people could start riding bikes and、uh, use cars less. So that was the aim of this event to reduce the carbon footprint we give out to the environment. えっと、私たちはディグデイっていうのをやっていて、で、これは、あの、地球ですとか自然ですとか、もう惑星を助けたいという気持ちでやっています。なので、ただの道を作るっていうだけじゃなくて、車の利用を減らすとか、あの、まあ、そういった、えっと、本当皆さん、ボランティアでやってるみたいで、あの、友人の方、家族の方で、あの、集まったボランティアさんでもう、ただただ掘って、あの、くる、あの、車の利用じゃなくて、自転車乗ってくださいね。で、乗りたければ道を作ろうということでやってます。So, so our bikes over the years, we、uh, won many awards due to、uh, the types of bikes that we have, the competitive pricing, and also the amount of、uh, commitment and community work we do with different、uh, government and Uh, different communities around different industries. So we actually won the Hardtail, which is a、uh, mountain bike of the year in the UK, five years in a row. えっと、私たちは結構ですね、あの、受賞歴がありまして、で、あの、価格帯、あの、バジェットマウンテンバイクオブザイヤーとありますけど、あの、格安のというか、まあ、格高いが安いということと、あと、政府とかコミュニティに対してどう貢献してるかっていう分野において、5年連続、あの、バジェットマウンテンバイクオブザイヤーを受賞しています。So this is just to show you, to give you an overview of the brand overall. We have many exhibitions,、um, some in Germany, US, Taiwan, Shanghai, all around the world. We do outdoor, indoor events, and there are races as well,、uh, all around the world to support the community that we're in, so the cycling community, and to bring in people who are trail runners or people in the sports industry and families、um, who want their kids to start exercising. So these are just some examples of where we've been around the world. えっと、私たちはいろんな展示会とかショーとかをやってて、まあ、ドイツとかアメリカとか台湾とか上海で、えっと、アウトドア、インドア問わずやってるんですけども、ただそのコミュニティのため、まあ、プロモーションのためじゃなくて、トレイルランナーさんとか、友人とか子供さんを皆さん巻き込んで、あの、コミュニティのために、あの、イベントをやっています。
So something very special to us is that we uh, got invited to make a movie uh, with Beijing Film Festival and a huge director. And what this movie is, it's called Cycling Across Mongolia. So we worked with them. We had two bikes, gravel bikes. Uh, that these racers, they're very famous in China, and they used our bikes to cycle 7,000 kilometers across Tibet and Mongolia on really tough terrains. It doesn't stop bumping. It's like boom, 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 nonstop for 10 hours all day. Okay, so there's uphill, there's downhill, and then they camp outside in freezing weather in the Mongolian and Tibet mountain. えっと、私たちは映画にもですね、あのー、貢献してまして、映画界にも貢献してまして、上海のフィルムフェスティバルにサイクリングアクロスモンゴリアということで、あのー、貢献しています。で、えっと、このストーリーは、えっと、中国で有名な二人が、あのー、二つのグラベルバイクをですね、えっと、使って、あの、演じているんですけども、あの、モンゴルでとても寒くて、外でキャンプできないぐらい寒いんですけど、まあ、そんな中、その、あの、バンピングって言いましたけど、こう、でこぼこした道をノンストップで7000キロ走るんですね。で、そんな、あの、二人のストーリーなんです。Yes,、yeah, so this actually won the 38th Milan International Sports Film and Television Festival Award. And what this show actually wants、uh, to teach people, it's kind of like cycling. So there's so much struggle in these 10 days that one of the men,、uh, the younger men, dropped out near the end. So the older one, the mentor, completed himself. So it shows when you're cycling, just say you're going uphill, life is like that. You know, you discover who you really are, where your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and then you overcome it at the very end. And we believe that we made this、um, collaboration to show how cycling depicts life, self discovery,、uh, and understanding more of who we are, as well as connecting with nature on a very, very rare and barren. Place where we don't have city and we only have animals next to us and, and the land. えっと第38回のミラノ国際スポーツ映画テレビ祭であの賞を最高賞をいただいてるんですけどもえっとまあその映画の中で若い男の子がをあのちょっと年の上の、年上のメンターさんが説得するようなシーンがあって、もうストラグリングですね。あの、非常にこう、凸凹した道行くんですごく大変なんですけども、まあサイクリングを通して、あの、アップヒルっていうことで、ね、あの、登ったり下がったりっていうのは、あの、私たちの人生みたいだっていうことでですね。で、サイクリングとコラボして、あの、このような形で、まあ最後にはそのセルフディスカバーということで、自分自身を発見するということで、あの都会では得られない自然とつながったり隣にいる動物に触ったりとかすることで得られるそのところからその自分自身を発見する旅の映画を作りましたということです。So, we're actually、uh, headquartered in Taiwan and US.、Uh, we have around eight plus distributors and over 600 retail bike shops around the world right now. えっと、ブードサイクルさんの本社は台湾とアメリカにあって、で、えっ、ー、と、8つの流通業者さんと800の、あの、800店舗以上の販売店さんがあります。So we have, so what is different between our bikes and different bikes, right? And why am I so passionate about doing this from my background in finance and pharmacy? Because We have a deeper, more interesting, and crazy mission, right? So it's a galactic mission where we want to bring、um, space travel, which is the future of humanity, and cycling, okay,、uh, mixed together. So if rockets can go to space, why can't bikes go to space? Okay, so Elon Musk, he thinks crazy ideas, so I can think crazy ideas too. <laughs> <laughs> えっと、他の<笑>、えっと、ブランドと何が違うのかっていうことなんですけど、あの、スペーストラブル、宇宙旅行ですね。あの、人間の未来って宇宙にあるっていうことで、あの
彼女は薬剤の方の勉強してたんですけど、もう本当にクレイジーな使命を持っていて、もう銀河旅行ですね。で、なんでロケットは宇宙に行けるのに、ね、私たちはなんか自転車で行けないのかっていうことを言ってて、イーロン・マスクもできたんだから、私もできるだろうということでおっしゃってます。So we are the future. So I'll, I'm going to go back to this. I want to show you this is our new campaign logo on the left. So you can see that they are AI robots. That is our present now. The bike at the bottom, there's also a chocolate we're offering today that looks like that.、Uh, that bike is called a penny farthing and it is the past. It represents the first.、Uh, Original commercial bike sold in the 16th century. So the first bikes look like this. Then you see space, the Mars and Sun, that depicts the future. So we represent the past, the present, and the future. Okay, so there's actually no space and time in the universe.、Uh, it is actually only confined but by our fears and by our mind. Okay, and you will find out that eternity is actually how big our dreams and our soul is. えっと、左の,あの写真を見ていただくと、あのー、まあ、その、AI のロボットが今の私たちの現在ですね。で、を示しています。で、あの、自転車なんですけど、これは16世紀にあの作られた自転車の形でもう、これは、あの、過去を、私たちの過去を示しています。で、あと、まあ、あの、惑星とかが見えるんですけど、それは私たちの未来で、えっ、ー、と、すべてを、あの、つなぐ、あの、のが私たちのバイクの。えー、使命ですで、えー、と私たちはですね過去と未来をつないでるという意味であの、まあ、宇宙には時間という区切りがないのでもう恐れることは何もないんですねで私たちがいかに強い魂と夢を持っているかということでもうやれないことはないということをおっしゃってます。So we're, we're actually... We're big on community. So we believe that every industry, not just bicycles, not just rockets, not just tech, but everyone in this world can participate in the future if you believe and if you think. So if you want to bike the road less traveled, basically, we believe that voodoo bikes、um, can merge with technology and AI. So this is how I actually met.、Um, Pablo, so he's in education tech and he also believes in space exploration and he will speak more about his project in space later. So, Web3, space tech, the metaverse, it is all part of the future that can be connected with everyone, not just the people in Silicon Valley or whatever. Space exploration, we want to be the first bike brand to reach space.、Uh, we also believe that cycling heals. The body、uh, and diseases. So, we believe that it is a type of meditation. So, you cycle 10 minutes even before bed and after bed, and it gives you、uh, calmness and presence in your heart. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> えっと、あの、私たちは、ただバイクのこととか、ロケットのこととか言ってるんじゃなくて、あの、みんなのことを言ってて、みんな未来に参加できるんですね。で、その、未来に参加するためにテクノロジーとか AI とかが必要なんですけど、そのために私はパブロさんに会いましたということで、パブロも実は宇宙のことが大好きで、で、あの、後ほど彼の宇宙のプロジェクトも説明するんですけど、だから私たちは会ったって言ってて、あの、もう Web3 とかですね、はもう、なんて言うんですかね、まあ、シリコンバレーの人たちのためだけにあるのではないと言っています。で、私たちは、えっ、ー、と、初めて自転車で、あの、宇宙に到達する。企業になりたい、ブランドになりたいと言ってます。で、まあ、サイクリングっていうのは、あの、体を癒すことですし、あとは、病を癒したりとか、あの、メディテーション、まあ、瞑想と言ってましたけども、あの、寝る前にとかにですね、10分間、ブードゥにの、ブードゥサイクルって、まあ、自転車に乗ると、それがメディテーション、瞑想になりますよとおっしゃってます。Yeah, so through riding our bikes, you discover your purpose on earth. Everyone here has a purpose and you discover that through if you think of riding bicycles as a type of meditation. You can create and you can be anywhere. 
、えっとまあ、地球にいるこの私たちの目的っていうのをサイクリングすることで見つける、見つけれるのではないか、何かを生み出せるのではないかとおっしゃってます。OK。So, えー、っとですね。So, Diana, why did you choose 福岡 Japan? Why 福岡 Why Japan? So, So Japan is so、uh, developed in every industry.、Uh, so you would think that you know you will want to go to Tokyo or Osaka to start and expand your business. That's already in different countries. You would find big companies to to do this. Why I chose Fukuoka? Because I can see potential in the city、uh, aligned with my mission. That's a bit special and different. From other people. So I don't really want to do the same. I want to find like minded people and I hope that they can also find me. So the future of Japan, I believe, is, is in this city. There is so much、uh, entrepreneur energy. There's a lot of startup people, people who want to think different and think outside the box. I, can, I see that the government here is quite supportive and the quality of life is more balanced. So that's like bicycles, right? You, you got to ride, you have to be balanced to be able to go straight. And that's what we are looking for in all our partners. Yeah. Okay. なぜ福岡を選んだかっていうことなんですけど、福岡ってすべてのあの産業が発展してまして、まあ東京とか大阪もまあそうなんですけど、まあもっと福岡はポテンシャルを感じていて、えー、福岡にポテンシャルを感じていて、もう我々のミッションにとっても近しいということで、あのー、まあ企業家精神っていうのも福岡にはたくさんありますし、あとは政府もあのすごくサポートしてくれてて、ですごくバランスがあの取れてる都市だなと思って、あの自転車になるのにはバランス必要だと思うんですけど、まあ、それと同じだなということです。The, and the main reason why we are having this talk is because both Pablo and I, Midori, we care about the environment and sustainability. So we find that this city is very, very bike friendly.、Uh, I came here, so I'm from Taiwan, although we make a lot of bikes, but it's not as friendly as here. The, the roads are flat and there's ramps for bikes to go up. It's very bike friendly and there's a lot of ESG assigned policies, which is the main reason of why we, what we want to grow and Um, sustain、uh, the environment, the planet, and also、uh, the longevity of human life. えっとまあ、あの2つ目の理由っていうのは、まあ、パブロもあのディアンナも私もサステナビリティとか環境大事にっていう考えをすごく持ってるんですけどあの、まあ、バイクフレンドリーな街だということですあ福岡市内ってすごくフラットで平らな道が多いですし台湾もたくさん自転車を走ってるんですけど台湾ってそんなに福岡ほどバイクフレンドリーじゃないということで,であの、まあ、ESG の施策とかも福岡は優れてますし力を入れてますしあの、まあ、そういうあの環境を見出してあのポテンシャルを見出してますってことです。Yeah. Okay. So people, a lot of people assume that bicycles can only、uh, so, sorry. So bicycles can only、uh, work with bike shops and、uh, distributors, but everyone can work together when you have an open mind and a community mind. So,、uh, we work with distributors, bike shops, tourism, hotels, resorts. We work with hotels and resorts in Canada and government corporate clubs. But what is the aim to sell bicycles? Maybe, maybe not. But the aim is so that we can create a very sustainable future where more people are on bikes and less people are on cars. So, Um, either it is、uh, social benefits, health and wellness, protecting nature,、uh, reducing carbon footprints, you will find that anyone can work with anyone, but for the purpose of a, a bigger impact purpose than just selling and buying a product. まあ、あの、販売店とか、バイクショップとかだけじゃなくって、もう皆さん、オープンマインドの皆さんと一緒に働きたいとおっしゃってて、で、あの、そのいった販売店とか、バイクショップとかだけじゃなくて、私たちは、あの、カナダのホテルとかリゾートとかともコラボレートしてて、えー、サイクルツーリズムとかとも連携したいですし、もちろん政府とも働きたいと思っています。で、えー、っと、そうですね。あの何か目的っていうのはあのとっても、え
サスティナビリティな社会を、まあ、未来に向けて作り出すことですね。で、車ではなくて、自転車に乗ってもらって、カーボン、カーボンフットプリントを減らして、あの、私たちもひ、あの、ひ癒すという目的で、あの、やっています。So, I'll be in Fukuoka from the 13th to 20th of June and、um, open for meetings. So,、uh, tonight we have the pop up store today and tomorrow,、um, as well as uh, you, uh, in Fukuoka,、uh, you can add me on email or line. And at the end, me and、uh, Pablo will have our social media accounts at the end. So, you can connect with us, or if you just want to understand more about the brand, you can find us there. Okay, so I hand this over now to、uh, Pablo, the founder and CEO of Manabu. Ja, eto, Thank you, everyone. Hi. Eto, eto, Diana san ですね。えっと、6月の13日から、えっと、20日まで福岡にいますので、ミーティングとかもぜひやりたいので、あの、おっしゃってくださいということですね。で、明日と、あ、今日と明日ですね、ポップアップストア、をひあの開催しているので、私たちのブランドについて知ってください。で、イベントが終わったらですね、ネットワーキングタイム、あの交流会を行うので、ぜひ最後までいてください。今日はありがとうございました。こんにちは。あ,ありがとうございます。あ、Thank you so much for coming today. あの、It's been late and, and I think we really appreciate that everyone coming. So after that, we have a nice pizza and some drinks. So please stay until, until the end. Uh, let me briefly explain about myself.、Um, I'm born in Chile,、uh, in very far away from Japan. <laughs>、uh, I, live, I have the opportunity to live in, in different countries、uh, in Chile, in Australia, in the Netherlands, and now I'm in Japan. I'm a very、um, fan of the bike. I've been commuting all my life by bike.、I'll, I believe in the sustainability, in the, in the healthy life. And also have an engineering degree,、um, um, dual diploma, the engineering degree, and also diploma in tourists. And when I was living in Australia, I b e c a m e a, a master of training, EarthCheck,、er, uh, master training certification, and it's focused one of the largest、uh, sustainability c e r t i f i c a t i o n in the world. And, and I got this one 12 years ago when at that time sustainability or ESG was nobody was talking about that. So I was so passionate about that. But now, after 12 years, I can feel like, wow, I'm doing something that is passionate and I can contribute with my company to the future as well. I love running.、Uh, I used to run、uh, in a business, a kayak business, long time ago. I love art design and I also practice、uh, Zen meditation. So when I was 12 years old, I was、uh, at home and then suddenly I got a bonsai. I couldn't keep, I didn't know how to keep the bonsai alive. So I b e c a m e very frustrated and very sad. But that is one of the first, my first immersion of the Japanese culture, Sen. And, and I love Sen.、Uh, and since then, I've created Sen、uh, mini, mini, minimalist、uh, indoor Sen garden as a hobby. So, Pablo, Pablo, s a n w h t 自己紹介をありましたけども、パブロさんはチリで生まれました。で、えっ、ー、と、本当に、あの、あ、ごめんなさい、その前に来てくれて本当にありがとうございますということで、本当に遅い時間なんですけど、来てくれてありがとうございますとおっしゃってまして、あの、美味しいピザ用意してますので、皆さん最後までいてくださいねとおっしゃってます。で、えっ、ー、と、遠い、日本からは遠い国、チリで生まれてまして、で、まあ、それから、あの、ストレアとかに移住はされているんですけど、とっても、あの、サステナビリティとか、あの、健康的な生活っていう意味で、自転車が大好きで、で、あのー、えっ、ー、とですね、工学とか経営管理学とかの学士も持ってますけども、12年前に、あの、世界的にサステナビリティの分野では、あの、本当にグローバルな資格のア,ーアースチェックマスタートレーナーっていう資格を取ってらっしゃいまして、その、あの、時はですね、12年前なんですけど、みんなサステナビリティとか知らないんですね。で、で、そんな中、まあ、今、そういう時期になってきたのかなというところです。で、大好きなのは、まあ、カヤックとかも好きなんですけど、ランニングすごく、あの、めっちゃ大好きですと言われてて、あとは、禅の瞑想ですとかもしますし、あとはミニマリズムというところですね。で、あの、盆栽育てているんですけど、どうやってか彼らを生かしているいいのかわからないってことで、ちょっと枯れ気味なんですかね。ちょっと<笑>、なんか、あの、していくのはちょっと難しいとおっしゃってます。以上です。
And um, let me tell you briefly about Manabu. Um, we are rebranding our startup. We used to be Sunagaru Edutech. And since the pandemic uh, hit very strong in different uh, environments, we were, as a startup, we were able to pivot very fast and went, and then I had the opportunity to develop and build Manabu. And Manabu, basically what we are doing with Manabu, it's a uh, software solution that integrate corporate training, education, and also ESG actions. It's all in one ecosystem. えっと、学ぶがどうやって生まれたかっていうことなんですけども、昨今のま、環境の問題とかで、あの、生まれたんですけども、ま、企業の教育とか研修とかというところとESGの活動を一体化してオールインワンのサービスを実現したシステムです。future. One is uh, Manabu Smart Dashboard, MSD, and it's basically it's focusing to help companies to visualize in very simple way the ESG action and metrics. Nowadays, mainly, mainly the sustainability are based uh, in report, lot of data and PDF, thousands of files. We aiming with Manabu, simplify this with AI technology and a very visual and a smart dashboard. The second is our Manabu uh, digital learning transformation that is only focusing corporate training and education, onboarding training, how companies could work in a very uh, simple way. And the last one, it's Manabu Batch. And let me tell you after, I will explain you some real examples. Manabu Batch is basically a, a system that we, we can verify how companies are doing actions for the planet. So it's an approved an evidence that companies can prove they're doing something with the planet and communities, etc. So a みつのアスペクトについて説明するんですけども、まず一番左のMSDですね。学ぶのダッシュボードなんですけど、これはあの企業の企業活動のESGの活動を助けるものですね。えっと、サステナビリティリポートってたくさん今あの出さなきゃいけないことになってるんですけども、まあそういったことをですね、助けるための education system です。で、3番目学ぶマッチなんですけども、これはあの、企業がいかにあの、ま、あの、労働者を教育してるかっていうのの証明になりますなので、ま、あの、e-learning受けたらバッチがもらえるという仕組みになってます。So, I try to bring my entire experience living in different countries, different sustainable societies like kind of the Netherlands or Brisbane when I was commuting by bike, uh I thought uh, well, we have to do something for the planet. I have to do something with the community. I have to help. And this, the exciting thing is when I start creating a Manabu Smart Dashboard, it was simple to improve efficiency, transform the efficiency in a very simple way. And that's also, we start working with my team, develop the Zen minimalist design, very simple, that now software cannot be too complex. It needs to be very simple. So since then, uh, we develop, um, we are working at the moment with an approval of concept with Fukuoka City. And uh, we are waiting for the government, local government to provide uh, the data that we want to integrate into Manabu Smart Dashboard. And what we want to do, basically, we want to collect data from different householder, uh, electricity, water, and, and, and they could easily provide a visual interactive dashboard. So that can help the government, local government, to visualize all the impact of ESG and the planet, how much in this area are saving electricity, how much they are saving water, what kind of actions they are doing with the communities, all in one ecosystem. This is what we are doing at the moment, and we are working very close with the uh, local government. えっと、あの、パブロはオランダとかあのオーストラリアにいた時自転車で通勤してたんですけど、
ESG のことでですね、あのー、こういったダッシュボードを使って、あの、政府に今、あの、福岡シティの方に、えー、福岡市の方に、えっ、ー、と、まあ、データの方を協力しているということで、まあ、どれだけ電力量を使っているのか、水を使っているのかっていう ESG データをですね、その、学ぶのダッシュボードを使って証明できるということで、今、その、オールインワンシステムで、あの、動いてます、ということです。And then this is exciting things that we are working as、uh, Diana mentioned about education and space. And we are glad to sign, we sign an, an, a partnership with one of the、uh, space consulting、uh, company in Chile that they invite us to partner with them and to build, to bring our know how in digital learning transformations in Manabu Batch. Into the space education. And that's really, really exciting news because recently、uh, we will start on a space educational program in an elementary school in Chile. We will start on the next month. And the good thing about this is we want to collaborate in between their space company in Chile, us know how with Digital Batch, online learning education, blended learning. To bring the latest technology and the latest systems to kids. And I want to show you something that we developed, my team developed as well. And that's the interactive 3D experience that we want to integrate in the space education with kids. So basically, the kid in Chile will interact with 3D modeling, and then you can visualize how rotation and, and the experience. So this is its immersed experience. And we aim to do this、uh, in this program with kids between A to A, fifth to eighth grade students. えっと、今、パウロはちょっと、これを発表するのすごくエキサイティングと言ってたんですけど、あの、実は宇宙のエデュケーション、教育プログラムを作りましたということで、今、チリのコンサルティング会社、スペース宇宙コンサルティング会社と、えっと、コラボしていまして、で、あの、8歳から10歳までの子供に 3D を使って、あの、まあ、学ぶというシステム。3D で見える化して、あの、チリの子供たちがですね、3D で、あの、宇宙教育を受けれるようにしましたということです。The good things also, it's not, we are, not only collaborate in the educational and know how to build 3D modeling in MERS experience, we also, we try to, in the second phase of the, this project, we want to create, a, bring the Japanese education. To those kids. I think that's something really valuable for myself and many countries that they would like to learn about the educational system in Japan, the, how、uh, kids can interact in a very collaborative way, community, and, and even like kind of when they're cleaning the, the classroom, this kind of effort could be very valuable for many kids in the world that they don't have this kind of type of education. And I believe that. During this pilot, it's going to be one month, but then after、um, a community and help those kids, it's going to be super value for、uh, our goal as a collaboration with the community. えっと、次に彼がやりたいことなんですけど、日本の教育を皆さん、世界中の皆さんに知ってもらいたいということです。で、あの、皆さん、小学校の時とかに教室を掃除する習慣があるかと思うんですけど、世界中のキッズたちはそういった習慣がないのでですね、そういった日本の教育をとコラボレーションして、それを持ち込みたいとあの言っています。Manabu Digital Batch, this is, we create this, and basically, how I mentioned before, it was verified the system. That companies can reward employees、uh, with ESG action. So, when the people, employees can save electricity in the companies, we can commute by bike, we don't reduce the footprint, we save、uh, water in our company. Companies should have the responsibility to reward employees. And that's why we found we developed Manabu Badge. We're also on a system that the companies can reward employees. We are Put Budu bike as a future prototyping, and we can also create this kind of concept that the people can give reward gift card to the employees by actions. Like, for example, don't come, don't use the public transport, don't use your private car. If you come by bicycle, we should be able to reward you because you are also help the planet. So, that's we are working in this system. And、uh, but Manabu Batch is already launched, 
uh, a couple of weeks ago. So we are very excited for this future of technologies. マナブはですね、すごくあの優れたシステムで したことであのリボード何か報酬がもらえるようなあのシステムになっていますでここで質問なんですけども which countries are top three commuter bike riders what do you think what do you think um so uh, yes to me あえっと通勤と通学であの自転車を利用する国トップ3はどこですかということで今考えてらっしゃいますそう Top three uh, commuting, so peop, uh, people who bike, I would say the Netherlands, I would choose the Netherlands, I would think uh, the UK, and uh, let's go with a different continent, maybe US, because bigger population, these are my guesses. はい、ディアナさんの回答は最初にまずオランダですね。で、次がイギリスで、多分次はアメリカかなとおっしゃってます。ハバリ。どうぞ。どうぞ。どうぞ。どうぞ。どうぞ。どうぞ。どうぞ
One, two, three. I would say, ah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> the people it's so cousins for me that I forgot something like every day. So I would, let's give them up applause. Let's uh, yes, as well done, guys. Because you have decreased the carbon emissions uh for transportation by 67% just by riding that day. And imagine the whole population doing that. So this is the effect that just one trip of riding your bicycle will do for the world. Even just grocery shopping. You don't have to go to work every day if it's two hours away. That's okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you, yeah, you can see the environmental benefits and how much carbon footprint each transportation does. Hi, eto, eto, ま、半分の方が自転車乗ってきたとおっしゃってたんですけど、あの自転車をただ使うだけでですね、あの Okay. And then, <clears throat> what do you think about these pictures? Um, Why don't you choose someone? Mm. <laughs> don't worry, I'm going to choose someone. What do you think what, about this? What does this, this photo um, mean for you? For you, or what do you think it depicts? So, so どなたかじゃあナナさんナナさんいかがですか英語喋るんですみません<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Thank you um and replace it with more um greenery and yeah. Great. Simply make more actions to make more actions that are friendly, friendlier to the environment. Um, it's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> なんか変わったのですねっていうことですよね。で、あのとてもシンプルになっていまして、あの環境にもとても良いんじゃないかなというふうにおっしゃってます。So just I couldn't stay too long sitting so. Uh but yes, I think uh, you're right and uh, the most important you see the changes between countries in the in in Germany, uh Brazil and also in France. So the key element here it's a very common things vehicles, cars, big highways, uh, societies so uh, back in 60 years ago, 50 years ago, the, the cities were built like to cars. But nowadays during the pandemic, many things start changing. And one of the key elements that we can put in, the, in our society to simply reduce the car, there are two main things, walking or riding a bicycle. And that's a super uh, important. And you see the changes could happen not only here, also in Japan as well. えっと、ここであの、この、ま、その、え、佐藤さんが言ったみたいに車の量が減ってますし、えっと、16年前っていうのは本当にあの、社会の中で、え、大きく変わって、ま、あの、ウォーキングしたりとか、ま、自転車で
あの有名なあのことわざもあるんですけど、本当シンプリシティ、あのー、シンプルさっていうのは、あのソフトウェア、彼のソフトウェアにも大事ですし、日頃のデイリーライフ、あの日常生活にも、本当に私たちの生活には大事なものだと思います。And to finish this wonderful presentation today,、uh, we want to give you this open question and to go home and think about that. What is how these guys finish this、uh, event today? With one question, which one can solve the future congestion problems? And we find diesel cars, hybrid cars, electrical cars. All electric vehicles don't save our congestion. And this is the truth. So, think about that. It's an,、uh, well,、Hi. Anna. Yeah, it all looks the same. <laughs> like, like the same photo, but different cars. So, what's the point? はい。えっと、あの、将来の渋滞問題を解決できるのはどれですかということで、あの、皆さん、家に持ち帰って考えてみてくださいということで、あの、ディアナさんも言ってるように、全部同じような写真だと思うんですけど、ディーゼルか、ハイブリッドか、エレクトリックか、ありますけど、全部エレクトリシティですけど、それで本当に問題を完結するんだろうかということをおっしゃってます。So, thank you all. I know you've been sitting for a long time. So, thank you all for coming. If you want to connect with either of our companies,、um, these are all our social medias, whatever you use here. We also have a lot of refreshments and pizza、um, at the back. We have a little game that、uh, you can play later. So, you can spin the wheel, and there are free prizes, and there is also a few、uh, limited edition special big prizes. So, everyone can go play this game later. You can check out uh, my uh, Voodoo exhibition later. So, we have some、uh, products also for sale. You can have a look at the bikes, and there are some brochures and photo books you can take a look. So, we thank you so much for listening to us and sharing with us how we can all come together to help the environment, to help every industry improve from where they are now. No matter where you're from, what company, you can always take a step and a leap into the future if you believe it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. あの、つながり返ってい方はこちらを見て行って帰ってください。で、あとはですね、あの、ピザを用意してたり、軽食を用意してたりですね、あと、入り口にあったと思うんですけど、スロットがあるんで、あれでゲームしていただいて、こう当てはまったものをもらえるっていうもの、ゲームもやってますし、あとは、そうですね。えっ、ー、と、エキシビジョンやってますね。バイク、3台、あの、エキシビットしてるんですけど、あれ、売り物なんで、あの、欲しい方は、あのネゴシエートしてください。交渉してください。安くなるかもしれないんで。あ、oh, so thank you very much for everyone coming today、uh,。クサバさん、the Q members、and also、Diana、you for accepting the invitation when we met in in I was doing a pitch competition in Taipei、mm -hmm.。and she came to me and we start talking and then we say、wow, we connect pretty well。space。<laughs> yeah, so I'll tell the story. So we were in Taiwan. So I live in Taiwan now. And there was a,、um, a event yeah, for、yeah. startup people.、Mm -hmm. And I went to listen to all these pitches. And then I decided to leave after the last pitch. And then at the end, I was like, I should go back. I haven't networked with anyone yet. When I went back, Pablo was the only one standing there. <laughs> and I just smiled at him and he smiled back. Hello. Like, Hello. <laughs> Then we started connecting and then I came to Japan. Yes. I, yeah. It's the Nandiko. あの、あったのかっていうお話なんですけど、まずですね、その前に、あの、草場さんと Q さんに、あの、感謝申し上げますっていうことですね。で、あと、まあ、ディアナさんは台湾のピッチコンテストでパウロと会ったんですけど、あの、あの、イベントが終わって、ネットワーキング、あ、全然してねえなと思ったら、して、ごめんなさい、してないなと思ったら、<笑>あの、パウロさんが一人で、あの、立っていたということで、そこから話すようになって、で、日本に来たということですね。Well, too much talk. So now it's time to talk networking, guys, drinking、so、pizza and. Yeah,、enjoy. thank you so much. We can chat together later. We can chat together. Thank you. Thank you, so much. Thank, you. thank you so much for coming today. And let's look at. Yes, let's go to Gota. <laughs> And thank you for this venue, uh, Q. Uh, you know, I, I was on Taiwan, and he's like, Q is the best for you to come and you know, get your bikes. Q is the best for you to come. Thank you so much.
yeah and so I came I came to Fukuoka and I was like this place is really really cool and this Hakata station has everything I can live here Hakata station and the one I can live here あの食事とかもですね、全部もう私住めます。はい。ありがとうございます。